Charlie, I told you to throw away her letters. Now he has seen them. Jessica's letters? Yes, he found them in the kitchen this morning. Please, find out if there is a way to block mail from her, because this is getting out of hand. I think I will. What did he do when he found out? You know how he gets. Locked himself in his room and refused to talk to me. Why has she come back after so many years? Has she not caused enough damage? I do not know, my dear. I am going to text her and tell her to leave us alone. It is too much now. Please, be careful, my dear. I do not want you talking to her. She is not stable. She can hurt people. It will just be a friendly conversation, where I tell her to stay away from our son. Nothing much. If you know what is good for you, then you will leave my son alone. You know what you did. You have the nerve to come crawling back. What is it that you want? Now, Emily, that is not a nice way to greet your sister-in-law. I just want to talk to my son. That is all. You gave up the rights to him when you dumped him at our doorstep in the freezing cold. You did not even have the guts to ask us if we could take care of him for a while as you figured out what you wanted to do with your life. Once again, how is that man you left your son for? Did he finally marry you and are you now a trophy wife? You have every right to be angry, Emily. I messed up. Trust me, not a day goes by without me thinking of my baby. I messed up. I chose a man over my son. And I have paid for it for the past five years. I take it he did not leave his wife for you? What were you expecting? Let me tell you how the world works. You get back what you put in. At least tell me how he is. Does he ever ask about me? I am sure that he has grown so much and is taller than me right now. Please, let me see him just once. He is alive and well. Nourished, unlike the way you left him. Do not talk about missing him. You mistreated Jimmy when he was just a little boy and could not take care of him. He wants nothing to do with you. I do not have all day. I wanted to tell you to stay away from my son. If you do not, you will see the ugly side of me. You have grown attached. Jimmy has always been a lovable little boy. Look, I am sorry. I have been fixing my life, going to therapy, church, and starting a new job. I have been single for two years now as well. But every day, I am in pain as I remember my son. You do not have a heart. So why must I believe you now? For all those years, you never cared about anyone but yourself. Charlie bailed you out of every mess, and you went and messed up again. If you really have changed, then you will stay away from Jimmy. Now is not the time to be dumping this on him. Emily, I ask you to please reconsider. You are not to be trusted, Jessica. After all that you have done. It was a rush thing that I regret in this day. No, not a rush thing. It is people's lives that you mess with and run away before you get caught. Please, just respect our decision. Where is he? Did you seriously take my son? I did not take him. Chill. I just took him for some coffee. I called a taxi for him. He should be getting home very soon now. You did not ask for permission before doing that. I asked, remember? But you decided to act all motherly. What do you know about being a mother when you have not experienced the pain of giving birth? Wow, there is the Jessica I know. The one who made me feel bad about my miscarriages. The selfish one. You have started something that you will not be able to end. I will not let you hurt him again. I will get my son back, Emily. Even if I must snatch him from you. Is he home yet? He arrived ten minutes ago. He was with her. I do not know how she figured out where he goes to school. I tried to talk to him about it, but he told me to stay out of it. I do not understand. I have tried to be a good mom, but he still wants to get to know her. He is a teen, hun. They are unpredictable. There is not much we can do at this point. The more we stop him, the more she will gain power. But what do you think she is telling him? Surely poisoning him against us? Um, don't you think that it is time we found out? What do you mean? Check his phone. See how bad it is. But that is not a bad idea. I have the phone in front of me. Okay, and? 
I have not looked through it. I have never done this before. Yeah, we did say we would not be these kinds of parents. Do you still want to go ahead with it? No, I cannot. He has not given us a reason not to trust him yet. I feel so guilty. Let me put the phone back in his room. He'll be back from his walk soon. Good idea. See you later, hun. Hey, mom. Cannot make it today. But the Robertsons are here for dinner. They wanted to discuss the summer internship with you. Well, maybe I do not want the summer internship, mom. I want to go out with friends. Skateboarding. Do not leave any food for me. Are you going to see Jessica then? No. I am not going to see my egg donor. Can you two please stop fighting over me? Okay, dear, sorry. Please, be safe out there. Sorry for snapping, mom. I meant that I do not want to talk about the internship now. Can I go over to Mr. Robertson's office tomorrow instead? Okay, sweetie. See you later. Hey, need to ask something? How long has Ginny been seeing Chloe? Is she from a good family? They came over for dinner tonight. What? They were at your house? Yes, Jimmy and his girlfriend. I know her. She goes to school with him. Very good in academics. A clean record as far as I know. Gotta go. I am surprised you did not have a snarky reply to me this time around. You are allowed to see your son. You did give birth to him after all. Chloe? Are you spying on me, Mom? You have a girlfriend, and you did not tell me or your father? I was going to. But you used to tell me everything. It is okay. I am happy for you. She is a nice girl. Just be careful. You can tell me anything, okay? Yes, Mom. And sorry for lying about dinner tonight. I was with my other mom. It is okay. I am starting to regret not looking through his phone. Because he lied to you? Yes! If he has a girlfriend, then what else does he have? He felt comfortable introducing her to Jessica instead of to me. Am I that bad of a mom? No, you are not, my dear. I think that she is using her tricks to turn you against each other. But why? Riddle me that. I will find out. There is so much that is fishy here. Yes, she has never cared for him. Never sent any letters or child support all these years. Then suddenly, she comes back? But what if she has changed? If she has changed, then there is no need for me to hold a grudge any further, right? Then we can all co-parent. Okay, dear. We'll see what I can find out. I found out that she is working in cybersecurity, has her own house, and has not had any felonies within the past few years. She broke up with that man of hers three years ago, as she says. So... She is legit. It appears. Hi. We would like to go for dinner with you. We shall meet in a neutral location. Catch up and stuff. Really? I knew you would come around. Do not be so excited. I am watching you. When? Tomorrow night. How about the day after? You are working on a public holiday? A public holiday? Oh, I did not realize. Let me check my diary. The client landed from New Zealand last night, and we have some things to go over tomorrow. Well, good luck then. Which company are you working for again? It seems to be very good money. Well, I do PR for different companies. Oh, is that all? No other skills? Nope. It is what I studied for. See you the day after tomorrow then. Good luck with the client. You said she was in cybersecurity? That is what her social media says. No mention of PR. Nope. Wait, she lied about her job? If she even has a job, keep digging. There is so much more that she has not told us. Also, Jimmy's biological dad. Please, investigate him. Why? If it comes to a custody battle, I want to know if there will be any complications. The last thing I want is for Jimmy to be hurt. He has come so far since the day she dumped him on our doorstep, when he was just 10 years old. After she cut him with a glass, I cannot believe the family members had no idea about it. They see what they want to see, my love. Emily, what the hell? Why did my son just send me a message telling me that he hated me? I showed him everything, Jess. His grandfather's will, 
the reason why you came back into his life. We also spoke to your ex, who told us that you dumped him as soon as your father's will came out. About two years ago, when your father's passed away, Charles got his share, and we assumed you got yours. Except you didn't. Everything else was left to Jimmy, in a trust fund, and you managed to keep it away from us. How did you? After you requested a separate will reading? I did no such thing. I am his mom. I am the overseer of his trust fund. Lies. Somehow you made it so. And since then, you have been looking for a way to get the entire estate, worth a lot of money, into your name. We are his legal guardians. Eventually everything was going to come out. So, you told him? Please, do not say that you told him. All I wanted to do was to give us both a good life. You wanted to take his money and then live a good life on your own. Admit it. Emily, I did no such thing. You gave him such hope, only to crush it with your greed. You are not getting his money. I spoke to the lawyer. The funds are secure from you. He will get access to his money when he is of age, and he will decide what he wants to do with it. Understood? You witch! You ruin everything you touch. You are my one enemy here. You turned my brother against me, and now my son. The same son you cut with a glass in anger when he was ten before dumping him here with no note? You are unbelievable. Leave the city and leave him alone. Over my dead body. She asked for a part of my inheritance. What? Has she no shame after what she did? You are right, Mom. She is not a good person. I should have listened to you. I am so hurt, Mom. I know that you are my mom and all, but all these years I wondered if there was something wrong with me. That made my biological mom not want anything to do with me. No, my dear. There was never anything wrong with you. But I guess I was a bit too overprotective of you over the years. She took advantage of that and tried to make us fight. Many years ago, your father and I's relationship suffered because of her. It was only when we cut her out of her life that we recovered. She came back into our lives when she got pregnant. By my biological dad. The one who disappeared. Yes, we supported her through the pregnancy and taking care of you, but she would sometimes take you and disappear. That was when she met a married man, who she was with for years after she left you. But you were our blessing, after so many years of having no kids. Wow, Mom, I did not know all this. Thank you for not sending me to a foster home. We could never. You are our child. We'll talk to you later. Must block Jessica. She is no more to me. And then, can we go for a walk later with Dad? Yes, dear. As soon as I get off work. Turns out that she did bribe someone to make sure we did not know about the will. As we speak, she is being arrested. Wow, this is wild. After more than a month of trying to find evidence against her, we have succeeded. But she did spin such an intricate web of lies but she forgot to leave a way out i am sure that now she is wishing that she never tried to come back into our lives and trick jimmy i do not know i doubt that someone like her feels bad or has a conscience so you think i am really going to jail you are so deeply delusional you paid someone to omit info from a will and then you tried to extort money from a 15 year old boy do you really feel like you have done nothing wrong I just wanted to get what was mine, my birthright. What is wrong with that? Charlie always got everything, the brains, job, and a better life. Well, I suffered. I deserve that estate. You disappeared for five years and did not even attend your own father's funeral. Now, do you feel that you deserve that money? You are so entitled, it is sickening. So, how should I survive? Get a job and stop using men for money. That is how. I am done talking to you. Just know that we will not make this easy for you. Not only will you be denied custody of Jimmy, you will be punished for what you did. I will not. I would like to see you try. You are so pathetic, trying to cling to a child that is not yours. Or is it that you also want the money for yourself? Yes. I know that you are just like me. You cannot resist the money. So much money, you will not have to work again. Shut up. While Jessica did not get convicted for paying someone to hide info about the will, 
she did not get custody of Jimmy. Then, an investigation proved that she had been scamming people for years. She was tried and given five years in prison. Jimmy finished high school and used his money to start his own business. He did find his biological dad, but has no relationship with him. Charlie and Emily are still happily married and have just adopted a baby girl. The end. Thanks for watching!